Hello, this reading is for those who just recently broke up or had a fallout with your partner. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, who you're dealing with, who left who, etc. The advice spread, is it worth your time to reconcile with this ex? And the new love in the near future spread. Do you have anybody new coming towards you, hopefully better suited for you than your ex? Please like my videos if they resonate and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Hi Pisces, here's the situation. We have the, the Devil, clarified by the Three of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands, uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Cups with the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could have been dealing with uh, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or, or Capricorn. And the Fire sign, Aries, the or Sagittarius. You see what I'm seeing here, Pisces? By the way, this is a very, very specific story. Right, we got two queens, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. I believe neither one of those queens represents you, Pisces. Right? I don't think that I don't think you are the Queen of Wands nor the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so you'll just have to tell me what's going on here. But I think it's pretty clear that there's too many cooks in this kitchen, right? Or was in this kitchen because I don't think you're with this person anymore if you're still with them you need to get out and perhaps most of them already did get out because we got the eight of cups with the six of swords on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right and both cards are talking about the same thing in this particular spread they even look kinda alike in the eight of cups somebody is leaving and the six of swords there's also somebody moving on or leaving right they even like I said they even look alike both cards represent somebody who turned their back on something or someone and they're off they go um, the devil the first guy that came out uh, is the personal Capricorn card you could have been dealing with a Capricorn or the devil is a very toxic person in a very toxic situation and uh, the three of swords clarifying the devil is a card of a third party situation it's a card of a broken heart it's a card of devastation so yeah like I said there were just way too many people involved in this situation and um I don't know how you found out about it, but I think you did and uh, you said, you know what, no, 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 this is definitely not for me, I need to get out. And that's, I think, exactly what you did. If you haven't, I think it's time for you to pack your stuff and go, <laughs> Pisces, seriously. But yeah, again, like I said, uh, it's a very particular, very specific situation. And I usually do three spreads in my uh, For the Broken Hearted uh, readings and the second spread is usually the Advice spread but uh, we have the Advice on the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords. So for the third time, if you're still in this situation, in this predicament, I think you need to leave. It's not going to lead to anything positive. Uh, something is wrong with this person, you know. Perhaps they have particular addictions, right? Because we do have those two queens here. Um, or they're just a very toxic person, you know. This person could be very attractive. You may feel this uh, pull towards this person. But I think it's time for you to cut the cord and go. Alright, so yeah, we're skipping spread number two. And we're moving on directly to spread number three. Spread number three is um, new love coming towards you in the near future. Alright Pisces, so here's spread number two, aka spread number three, a <laughs> new love coming towards you in the near future. We have the eight of ones clarified by the king of ones, we have justice, we have the seven of cups clarified by the two of cups, and we also have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libra, or a Gemini. So this person, this king of ones, that's I believe the person coming in. Um, they are either a fire sign, there is their Sagittarius, or this is somebody who is very fiery, very passionate, somebody who is easy to get up and go. Um, they could be a leader, somebody who stands out of the crowd. And uh, they're going to come in very, very quickly. And uh, it's going to happen so quickly that it's even going to sort of shock you and confuse you. And uh, you're going to have a hard time. Uh, kind of accepting the fact that this person is uh, your soulmate and this person is the one for you, right? But, yeah, I can totally understand that. Anyway, so the King of Wands is clarifying the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is one of the fastest cards in the deck, you know? So, like I said, it's going to uh, unfold very quickly. The Eight of Wands is also a card of travel, 
right? So this person could be traveling to see you or you two could be traveling to see each other somewhere in the middle or you could be just traveling together. But um, the Eight of Wands is also a card of communication, a lot of communication, and uh, it's a card of a Cupid's arrow. So the Cupid is really hard at work striking you and them. So perhaps that's why you're going to be a little bit shocked <laughs> that you're falling for this person so quickly. Right? We have Justice in the middle. Justice is the personal Libra card. You could be dealing with the Libra, or Justice could be uh, Karma, you know? So you're finally getting what you deserve. Some, someone finally uh, worth your time and effort. Somebody who is not going to screw you over. Somebody who is not going to have all those other people. Right? Like we saw in the previous spread. That spread is still... Um, I don't know. <laughs> it was mind-boggling. <laughs> I don't see that type of spreads that often. Barely ever. But anyway, enough of that old creepy person. So justice could be, is finally you're getting what you deserve, right? Um, and that justice could represent the legal system, and by that I mean it could be uh, them proposing to you, right? Justice could be an actual place where people get married, like a chapel, or justice could be a person who's got the authority to marry other people, you know, somebody who is a priest or a minister or a county clerk, what have you. So yeah, perhaps this person wants to uh, tie the knot with you as quickly as possible. Or, you know, it's just going to, you know, be a bit surprising for you. And uh, there you are in the Seven of Cups, uh, the next card that came out. Um, this is a card of confusion. For some of you, it's a card of a multiple choice. So perhaps you'll be facing multiple suitors in February. But most likely the Seven of Cups, this is you're like standing there and you're like, um, what's happening? Why is it so happening so quickly? Is this person my soulmate? Is uh, this going to be um, like uh, the person whom I will end up for the rest of my life? You know, those type of um, thoughts will be crossing your mind. And the answer is yes, this person is the one for you. First of all, the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection. The Lovers on the bottom of the deck is also a soulmate card, right? Um, but the Two of Cups is also a card of unconditional love. It's a card of um, two people in love with each other. So the Cupid is really, um, you know, playing a, playing a joke on you in a very positive way, I guess. <laughs> and uh, the Lovers, like I said, is also, um, besides it being a soulmate card, it's also a card of a Gemini, right? Or uh, this is a card of a Twin Flame connection, if you believe in Twin Flames. And the Lovers could simply be the love of your life. So yeah, uh, Pisces, you're in for a surprise, you're in for a shock, you're in for uh, this unexpected turn of events, I guess. And um, you'll be, you'll have a hard time accepting um, the fact that this person is at least your soulmate, probably even more. It all depends on what you believe in. But um, yeah, I I hope <laughs> the two of you can uh, move forward together, right? So, and that's what I got for you, Pisces, for this reading. If this uh, video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, have an amazing February. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.